Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Rubavu Technical College, Tivet. And today, we are going to learn together how to repair audio transducer. Today's topic, how to prepare an audio transducer repairing. At the end of this session, each learner will be able to select and arrange different tools, materials, and equipment required to repair an audio transducer. As we are learning together, I invite you to take some note and do a practical exercise with me, as I told you before, because we are learning together. Now, you may ask yourself, what is a transducer? A transducer is an electronic device that converts energy from one form to another one. An audio transducer converts sound into electrical signal and vice versa. For example, there are two types of audio transducer, which is a microphone which converts sound into electrical signal. And the loudspeaker converts electrical signal into sound. And also, you may ask yourself, what is a sound? A sound is a vibration that travels through the air or another medium and can be heard when they reach animal ears or human being ears. As we already finished to see what is an audio transducer and what is a transducer, now we are going to prepare the workplace accordingly in order to repair an audio transducer. Firstly, when you want to prepare the workplace as a professional technician, you have to prepare the personal protective equipment, PPE, which are made to protect you against any hazard while you are doing any kind of repairing, such as gloves, helmet, overall, noise mask, googles, and so on. As we already finished to select PPE, now on we are going to select tools, materials, and equipment which is used to repair any audio transducer. Firstly, you select a universal screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, an iron key, screw driving machine, all of those are helpers why we are doing assembling and disassembling any audio transducer according to the shape of the screw. And also, there is a cutting prior, a universal prior, a stripping priors. All of them are used for cutting purpose. And also, there is a cleaning solution, a cleaning brush, which are used for purpose why we are cleaning the workplace or the device in which we are working on. There is soldering iron, soldering pump, soldering gun, digital millimeter, gun glue stick, and so on. Those are tools, materials, and equipment required while you went to repair an audio transducer. As we're running together, I hope you have seen each tools and materials and equipment required while repairing an audio transducer. While we finish to prepare the workplace, we are going to see type of microphone. There is a wire microphone which requires a wire to be connected to an amplifier to perform or to be used well. And also, there is a wireless microphone which doesn't require any wire to be connected to the amplifier to work properly. As you can see at your screen, you see two types of microphone, a wireless, which has a receiver, which receives the signal that came from that wireless microphone. And also, there is a wire, as you can see at your own screen, it has a wire which has to be connected through it to be used well. And also, based on the design style, there are different types of microphone, such as handheld microphone, headset microphone, lavaria microphone, and finally, hanging microphone. As you can see, there are different types of microphone based on technology, such as carbon microphone, dynamic microphone, ribbon microphone, condenser microphone, 
crystal microphone, fiber optic microphone, and finally, electric microphone. As we finish to see the type of microphone, now we are going to see the type of a raw speaker. As you can see, there is a moving coil cone. There is one of type of raw speaker. There is electrodynamic raw speaker. And finally, as you can see, it's called a horn raw speaker. As we finish to see different type of raw speaker, now we are going to see how to assemble and disassemble any audio transducer. As we already learned about it, assembling is to fix together separated pieces in order to form one wall. While disassembling is to break down or to separate one device into many pieces. While we are looking through different parts of a microphone or a raw speaker, we have to do what is called disassembling. By the help of our screwdrivers or iron key, any according to the shape of the screw which hold that device, you may open it in order to reach or internal part of a microphone or a loud speaker, as you can see at your own screen. While doing assembling and disassembling, you do it slowly in order to not break any internal component. And also, I remind you to check the manufacturer instruction of each device you are working on. As we finish to see what is an audio transducer together, and we finish to see different type of audio transducer, and also we have seen together the type of a microphone and the type of a loudspeaker. Now on, what you have to do, while you finish to see each part of an audio transducer, you do what is called assembling. As I told you before, is to fix together, as you can see, separated pieces in order to form one wall. Thank you for your attention. In our next session, we will see how to repair a microphone. As we were running together, I hope you took some note and you did some practical exercise with me as we were running together. See you next time. Enjoy. Mm.